learning hypnosis. Learning hypnosis. Well, I'm going to divide it into two areas. First of all, the self-hypnosis. It's a very useful tool. I use it every single day and it's helping me program my mind, change my experiences and give me good experiences in the day, improve my skills in certain areas. So self-hypnosis is a really, really good thing to learn for anyone at all. It's fun and it's resourceful. I mean, it helps settle the mind and the body. Mm -mm, makes you feel very good indeed. The other kind of hypnosis is hetero-hypnosis. That's where like somebody else induces a hypnotic state, a trance state in another person. And that's generally used by hypnotherapists, by medics, by psychologists, by counsellors, um, by social workers, and it's also used in education. It is used in entertainment, but I think that's probably not a very good use of it. So hypnosis is a very safe procedure when it's taught well. And I do say well. And if you are thinking of learning hypnosis, I often get telephone calls from people say, can you tell me when to learn to be a hypnotherapist? And I say, well, you have to go to school. I went to school for several years to become a hypnotherapist. I did a degree, I did a doctorate, a postgraduate diploma, and it took a long, long time. If you're looking at an advert that says become a hypnotherapist in three days, I'd really walk the other way very fast. Could you learn to become a heart surgeon in three days? Or a car mechanic? I don't think so. And it requires a great deal of skill to be a hypnotherapist. You have to have psychotherapeutic training, counselling training, so that you're dealing with people's psychological issues outside of the hypnosis situation and within the hypnosis situation. And also you may have medical training if you're using medical hypnosis. For those of you who are doctors or psychologists or counsellors or uh, psychotherapists who want to learn hypnosis, just a three-day uh, training simply won't do. You may tag the hypnosis on to what you do already, but it's really insufficient. And I think you need more training than that. Because things may come up that you can't deal with, that you may have to refer on. If it's in a medical setting and you're a nurse, for instance, and you're using hypnosis for anesthesia or analgesia, that's something you can do in a, a number of days. But if you're dealing with psychological issues or behavioural issues, you need to do a whole school training. And in most countries, there are associations for hypnotherapists and they have standards and they require you to have gone to school for a certain amount of time to learn the many different skills and techniques that you need so that you meet a standard and the standard is reviewed constantly and you're asked to do continual professional development and supervision. So if you're thinking of learning to do hypnosis and hypnotherapy, seek out a professional school taught by professionals, not someone who's teaching it for three days, because after three days, you're not going to be safe and you're not going to have any clients who would go to someone who took three days to learn something as complex as hypnosis. So it's a really powerful and useful tool. Seek out professional schools, accredited professional schools to teach you. Schools run by accredited professionals. There are schools that might not be government accredited, but they are run by very experienced professionals always find out the principal of the school and the teachers of the school what their experience are. They don't have to be medically qualified. They don't have to be qualified in psychology. 
they have to be qualified in hypnosis. So if you're thinking of learning hypnosis, have a great time. See you later.